In this Blender video tutorial I will show you how to place a video inside text. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I'm going to assume that you've got very little knowledge of working in Blender so apologies to anybody who has to go through the pain of going through all the motions while I go through this tutorial. Okay. The first thing you're going to need to do is change some of the settings in Blender. Um, the reason being is the default setting in Blender is something called Filmic and white doesn't appear. Um, it appears more as a sort of a grey colour when you come to render images or video in the 3D view. So I'm going to just come across here and select the Render Preview, uh, Render Properties tab, this looks like the back of a camera. And next to colour management I'll select the little arrow and where it says view transform filmic I'm going to select standard. Also select the little arrow next to film and place a tick in the box next to the transparent. Okay. Now I'm going to create some text in Blender. You can use um, most sort of um, photo editing um, software. You could do this in GIMP, but to be honest it's just as easy to do it in Blender. So all I'm going to do is just hit X and then left click on Delete to remove the cube. And then 7 on my numbers pad to go into top view. Now I want to align the camera so that it's looking straight down. And to do this, just go up to View and next to Align View, select Align Active Camera to View. You can also try um, Control Alt and Nums Pad 0, but it doesn't work for me. So this is placed the view straight down from the top, and you're actually looking through the camera. I'll roll my middle mouse to increase the view a little bit. Hold down. Shift followed by A and select text and hit tab on your keyboard and then you can use backspace to remove the word text unless you want to particularly use that word. Now the standard font in uh, Blender it's not that good for this sort of thing it's a bit sort of small you know from uh, the actual size so what I'm going to do is go into the letter A or this is your actually the it says object data pro properties so this is where you're going to change some of your settings select A and I'm going to open up fonts by selecting the little arrow next to font and then there's a folder next to regular so it says open font I'm going to select this and navigate to where I've got where I've actually stored some fonts. Now if you want to see what they look like, select display mode and then thumbnails. And you should see what your fonts look like. Now I'm going to select this one and then open font you can type what you want in but seeing as this has got some fire in it I'm gonna type the word fire in capitals okay now I'm gonna drag the size up just so I can see what I'm looking at and you've also got the option in paragraph um, where it says a line you can sort of center things by selecting left and then center and then vertical top baseline and then center I'll probably end up having to recenter this again and let's drag the size up a bit more let's take it up to something like I don't know around about six in this instance yours may be different and I'm going to drag the shear over so it's sheared to the right 
and we'll go with that. I'm going to hit tab to go back into object mode and freeze. I'm just going to use this move button and then using the red arrow I'm going to just center this up. In fact I may just reduce this in size a bit so I'm going to press S and move my mouse just to decrease this in size. That'll do. Then use the green arrow to straighten this up. Or center up rather, that will do. Just press Z on your keyboard and select material preview. Now that doesn't look too bad, but what I would do, until you get used to working in Blender if you're a bit of a novice, what I would do is come over to the little world button, it says materials properties, select new, and then where it says principle BSDF, select the emission, and then just check on the colour by selecting it, and make sure that the little dot is all the way up. OK. Now you should be good to go. If you come up to the top, this will render as a PNG image, which is probably the best option to use. So if you just come up to the word render, select this, and then make sure you select render image, otherwise you'll end up with 250 <laughs> copies of this. So again, render, and then render image. You can also press F12. I don't know what happened there, but anyway, that's uh, rendered this image. It's quite quick. Come back up to image and select save as. Now I'm going to go and save this in my desktop just for ease, and I'll call this what it is fire and then. I'm going to select save as image. Close this down and freeze. I'll just come up to file and then select new video editing and then don't save. Okay. So all we need to do now is just bring some uh, video in and our image that we've just created of some text. So using this uh, browser you can select your folders where your, your video is, select the video and then you might have to do this twice, it can lock up sometimes Blender, but just drag your video into, this has gone into track 2, track 1 it doesn't really make much difference and I'm going to navigate back to my desktop where I saved the image to making sure that's over the top and for ease I'm going to just select the left hand side hold my left mouse button down and drag it up to match the length of the video which in this case is 86 frames um, and obviously you'll need to change the frame range and I'm not going to go through the shortcuts for that it tells me here quite clearly this is 86 frames long so I'll just type in 86 in this box here you can also do it up here okay with this selected all you need to do is in the adjust box under compositing it'll say blend alpha over select this and just select multiply and now what you should find is that you've got some text with a video inside now if you want to place something behind this say another video or an image you need to add this above the the um, text that you created 
So I'll just show you very quickly. Let's go and select, I don't know, this is select a color bar. I should have dragged this back. Incidentally, it doesn't matter if you go past um, frame one in Blender because it will only render from frame one. And again, I'll just drag this over. Again, I can come over here because all I'll render out is 86 frames. This won't get rendered. So match that. Now, regardless of whether this is an image or a video, what you need to do is just come over to the blend and it'll say cross, select cross, and select alpha under. So as I said, it doesn't matter whether it's a video or an image, as long as you select alpha under, this will work. And that basically is all there is to it. I will go ahead and render this um, by selecting render and then render at no. Actually, you need to do something else. Sorry about that. <laughs> In the output box or output properties box, you'll need to select where you're going to save your video. Select the little folder next to TMP, and for ease, we'll go into desktop. And because it's a different, it's going to be a different format. In fact, no, I'll change this to because I've already got something that says Fire. I don't know, call it Fire Two. That'll do and select accept box that says PNG select this and then FF MPEG video select the little arrow next to encoding and you've got a container now you've got a few options here you can change your video to I'm going to keep this the same just for speed Output quality usually says medium quality. You can select this and go to high quality. Audio I'm not going to bother with. So that's set up to go. Now come up to render and then select render animation and wait for your video to finish rendering. I'll come back to this when it's finished. Once your video is finished rendering, you can close the render um, folder down and hopefully you should have something that looks a bit like this. Thank you for watching. Cheers.